gonna see if we can get this tripod set up in the car. I don't recommend necessarily filming in the car for safety reasons. But the cool part is if you get in an accident, you'll have a video. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm parked. I'm not <laughs> moving, by the way. I went to my favorite local park to get set up because I didn't want to um, didn't want to have video of me driving away from my house so people know where I live. You know, you got to be smart about these things. All right. Today, I'm on the way to pick up a part for my Mini Cooper that I'm putting back together. Drive plate retaining bolts or flywheel retaining bolts. Apparently they're single use, so I need to get that from the mini dealer. I just had this thought, you know? Like life is a story and a new chapter starts today. And I know that sounds cliche and like, what is this guy talking about? But today I quit my job. Uh, I've been working as a, a general contractor for a few months and um, it was okay. It was like a temporary kind of thing after college uh, because it is uh, 2021, which means last year was 2020, the year of the COVID-19 pandemic. <coughs> and I was nervous about applying for big jobs and people... I don't know, like the whole job application and hiring process thing was different. So anyway, I got myself a job as a general contractor with a guy that my family knew. I did that work for a little while and the things, things have been weird lately. I don't know exactly what happened with this job. Like two and a half weeks ago, uh, I, on the last day that I worked, I was supposed to clean up all of the trash that was on the big job site for uh, all the trash that had accumulated over a week and that was my job for the day and sometimes I just got left with like the crappy jobs which oh well you know like I, I'm starting out I wasn't about to complain about it so I show up clean the whole job site and a day I'm done at like 3.30 or something. Uh, I got there at like 8 something. My camera's falling, but whatever. Um, so, get the whole job site clean, and then my boss shows up, and the other guy who we're working with, and um, he, like, they're, they're trying to put in uh, a beam in the ceiling or whatever. This is like a house renovation. I was like, hey, it's cool if I leave uh, because I, I did like my job for the day. That was what I was told. I had two days to finish it and I finished it in a day. Um, and he was like, oh yeah, that's totally cool. Like we'll, we'll move our trucks and stuff. So I'm thinking, sweet, I did my job. I'm going home. Um, but the next day we don't have work because he's out of town. Uh, with his family and uh, like uh, that's kind of normal we just have random days where uh, we wouldn't have work but then uh, I don't hear from him usually he'll text me like on Sunday night uh, like hey we have uh, we're going to this job site tomorrow uh, like I'll see you at 8 a.m. or whatever and uh, didn't get a text so the week starts rolling by and then I text him on like Wednesday or something. I'm like, hey, uh, do we have work? And uh, he's like, no, the, we're waiting for the HVAC guy to move a line or whatever. And a whole another week goes by. So this is two, two full weeks that I don't work. And I was already getting to the point where I was thinking about quitting the job. So I'm like applying for other jobs and stuff. Uh, already I told him like a month ago that I was gonna look for other stuff uh, but 
yeah, I, I didn't hear from him at all. So today, I finally, this was the beginning of what would be the third week. I went and I got my tools from the job site and uh, I asked for my my check for the two weeks that I worked that I haven't gotten paid for yet. And I haven't heard from him. Uh, so I will get the money. Uh, and I, I'm done. I'm, yeah, no notice. Uh, I'm done. It's, it's been kind of a weird, like, falling out because the other side of the story is um, my parents hired uh, this guy and me to build our screen porch and then eventually redo our kitchen and the kitchen still has stuff that has not been finished. We started that project like two months ago um, and he's been ignoring my parents' uh, text about it. Yeah, so I, I don't know what like the deal is from his end. I, I don't know if he saw like me leaving early on that day, which by the way was not an abnormal occurrence. We had finished up at two or three in the afternoon all the time, so it's not like it's not like we would always stay till five. And me leaving early was like some new kind of thing. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But I have a world of opportunities in front of me. I have a graphic design degree, and um, I, uh, to be honest, towards the end of college, blah, 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 towards the end of college, I wasn't really that excited about going into graphic design because I just didn't, I wasn't enjoying the work uh, towards the end, and uh, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to sit behind a desk all the time, but I'm ready to try some opportunities, and and just get out there and uh, all this kind of the idea of like a new chapter and a story I always thought it'd be cool to have like an actual reality TV show so it's like um, like I, I feel like you have kind of two ends of the spectrum like you have vlogging which is just kind of people talking about their life like I am right now uh, but then you have more formal, like, scripted TV shows that are, like, reality shows. Um, and I've always thought it'd be cool to do something in between. Like, I feel like vlogging is people are like, oh, I'm going to go do this, but here's, like, a day in my life or whatever. And it's, like, kind of tailored for YouTube. Uh, but then, obviously, like, TV shows are way too scripted for me. Uh, so, I don't know, I, th I always thought it'd be cool to, like, have a narrative to the story, but, like, I don't know what's gonna happen with my life, uh, so, it, it's like an open-ended story that's unfolding in real time, it's a story of a, a 22-year-old man who's trying to move out and get a job and find love and, um, how to, like, live life. Yeah, I so many opportunities, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this morning I applied for two more jobs. I had already applied for at least three or four, um, but now I'm just sending it. I'm just applying for whatever, and uh, hopefully I get something well paying. But if not, I'm down to do like something kind of part time that just is enough to pay the bills where I can do like kind of my hobbies and work on work that I want to do in the future uh, in my spare time. I've been writing uh, a memoir and a novel and uh, working on YouTube videos and doing some carpentry and I, I have a busy hobby life. Uh, I have a lot of kind of goals for myself outside of uh, work, as you might call it. Um, thick man crossing the street. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I thought it would be fun to just kind of document that. And my battery's about to die on my camera, so I will switch that out in a minute. I'm not going to do it while I'm driving, though, so I'll find somewhere to kind of pull over. 
But yeah, we'll end the video right there. Part one. I'll film the second part in a minute. It's awkward though, because now I'm just sitting here and the camera's rolling until it dies, but. Saw a meme about that um, in the jungle song. In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh, and more, oh, and more, oh, and more. Ah, uh, what a good song. What? What happened here? I guess people are just turning around. It's... Okay, hopefully this battery has a little bit of juice in it. It's the second, well, third time I've pulled over if you include the start of this video. Uh, third time I've pulled over to get the video going. Um, I might just pull through here. Um, yeah, so. Where did I leave off? Okay, I'll just start over on the... Uh, so I think my life is a blank slate right now because I don't have a job, don't have a girlfriend or any kind of romantic relationship going on, um, and don't have anything tying me down to where I'm living right now. I'm living with my parents, but I'm ready to move out. Uh, so I could live anywhere in the country. Uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a world of opportunities. I live in America, and I could do whatever I want with my life. You know, that's like a, an exciting feeling uh, for a a 22 year old. Um, and yeah, so I just thought it'd be fun to like kind of document that and uh, see where things go from here. It's episode one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we got like all main characters here, <laughs> all one of us. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I might uh, film a little bit this upcoming weekend. I'm going to the beach with the boys, and then I'm going to um, uh, like a fake formal thing. Like uh, some of my friends are putting on like a. Uh, they're having a dance or whatever, even though, whoops, even though there's not, like, a, a school dance going on. I think it's to replace the fact that there isn't one. Uh, so we're having, like, a party or something. Uh, I, I probably won't film that. I might. I mean, why, why not? Um, but, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to include, but I can't really think of it right now. Uh, yeah, life as a TV show starring me. <laughs> uh, I also always thought it would be cool to like, uh, I don't know, make a short film or something and act in it, which I, I was a really crappy actor growing up as a kid because I didn't understand the idea of acting really, which is... Like, that sounds really broad, but, like, I was in different musicals and stuff, and you don't really get it when you're, like, a little kid, but I didn't understand that, like, when you're acting, you take a character and, like, what that character is supposed to be, and you put yourself in their shoes to feel their emotions. If they're, like, really sad, <laughs> or if they're, like, ecstatic and freaking just ready to go, you know? Or if they're pissed and ugh, just fucking want to do something. Uh, you know, like different, uh, you gotta actually put yourself like in the shoes of a person or an emotion to communicate something powerful and to actually sell that. Uh, for me, it was just like memorizing words and then saying them. And I thought that like, like in my little kid brain, it was like, different different people like actors play different characters who hopefully looked exactly like the character was supposed to look and just acted the way they did so there wasn't really anything uh as far as like achieving a character 
but I, I think it'd be really cool now to come back understanding that as a concept uh, and try like acting again which I mean this isn't acting obviously because it's real life it's me driving down the road um, but I don't know I, I have a fascination with film and and that sort of thing uh, I, I, I really want to move out that's a that's a big goal I was trying to save up money to do it but it just didn't really happen because I wasn't making enough money because I was making like um, six hundred dollars a week but I'm paying my own taxes with that because I'm not employed um, by like technically I was working as an independent contractor and I also had to pay like seventy dollars of insurance a month and all of my gas and tools uh for the job which is just a, like that adds up to be a lot of the chunk of money so i was really making like mm, i don't know like four four fifty a week or something um which, when you think about it, if you work, like, like that's $10 an hour, maybe. Um, probably less, considering the hours that I put in. So, really, I, I, I had to buy this truck, too, just to do the job. Because uh, I was using my parents' old truck. But I didn't want to put a ton of miles on it, because it's, like, kind of a family heirloom. And... Um, yeah, I wanted to be able to kind of support myself, so I bought a truck, so I'm making payments on that, um, and just paying for food and gas and clothes and stuff, I was just kind of breaking even, um, so, yeah, that, that's part of the reason why I was, like, seeking a new job, um, but world of possibilities out there, man, uh, I'm going right now to pick up a part for the Mini, I can't remember if I, yeah, I already said that, but, um, I overheated the Mini last year, and I've been working to put it back together. I finally got the engine um, resurfaced and got the piston, um, or like, I got the cylinders bored, so it should be all ready to go. I just need to put it back together, but there are certain things with like, uh, with engine repair, just putting back together the bolts that you took apart some of them are like single use so you have to go and buy new bolts just for putting it back together uh, and yeah cars are just kind of complicated to work on so it's taken me a while especially just to get the uh, the materials for the engine that I needed to put everything back together uh, but it's exciting I, I'm really looking forward to getting it back together and hopefully I can get it all running smoothly by myself and then I'll be able to sell either that or this car. Um, yeah, if I could sell my truck and then just drive, keep driving that, because I probably won't need a truck for my next job, uh, that would be nice because, yeah, then I would have all the money that I uh, have put towards this. Uh, I mean, if I could resell it at the same price all the money that I put into it I would be able to have so that hopefully I could you know move out and pay for for basic stuff that I just can't afford right now um, yeah I mean other than that life is life has been interesting these last couple of weeks because I haven't had work but it has been nice because I've been able to clean things and work on other things and um, go to the gym a lot. I, I've missed working out a bunch, but i um, been able to do that a lot. I've been working on basketball, which I haven't gotten to work on in forever. Uh, I'm trying to like, uh, I've been watching a lot of dunkers on YouTube and uh, I've been able to dunk for a while since I was like 16, um, but I've never been particularly good at dunking on a full-size hoop like I've always been like 
barely able to uh, to dunk with one or two hands. So I'm trying to get to the point where I can like do trick dunks and stuff. Uh, and just being smarter about like fitness because I, I've worked out for since about the same time as since I could dunk, so like six years. Um, early, well actually earlier than that, I probably started seriously working out for sports in my early teens um, and lifting like weights seriously a little bit later but I was never really smart about it because I didn't really understand a lot of concepts about like fitness and just how much diet affects that so I'm trying to come back uh, and go at fitness with like some new energy and smarts to hopefully make it um, be able to put in the same amount of effort I was working really hard but actually see a lot more results from that because I'm working smarter too um, but yeah yeah I, that's life right now I'm, I'm gonna stop the video because I'm to the mini dealer all right, I got the camera in the seat now because the wrapping the legs around the door handle was, it worked, uh, but it wasn't the best because then I couldn't, uh, I don't want to be messing with it too much while I'm driving, but I want to at least be able to hit stop and start on the record. Uh, all right, so I... <laughs> I'm almost some um, yeah um, again I, I'm sort of close I'm not giving away specifics so people can't find my house uh, but I yeah I just need to wrap up the video because I couldn't think of anything else I, I was like sitting here just saying songs and I, I can't put songs in it because copyright uh, but I was like you know I, I can't really think of anything so I'll probably post this on my YouTube Episode one of life. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hype. Um, I I guess I'll just kind of like keep making episodes as like stuff in my life happens. So but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, but I, I feel like Top Gear, you know, like sitting in the driver's seat. Here I am in my. Mercedes SLS AMG. Today, on, tonight on Top Gear, we will be reviewing. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. My mind just like wanders these days. But um, yeah, so I'll probably post this on my YouTube. And as I'm ending my videos now, make sure to thumbs down and unsubscribe and go subscribe to PewDiePie instead or something. Yeah, see ya. And it cuts away.